Honeybees fly long distances in their search for food. In their short lives, they cover some 1,200 kilometers. They collect pollen and nectar for their hive, and while doing so, also pollinate many crops. In this way, they help us produce sufficient quantities of food. But honeybees are under threat from a number of different factors, including diseases, pests, mistakes in the work of farmers and beekeepers, and even the weather. One tiny parasitic pest is a particularly major threat, the varroa mite. Once infected with this parasite, a colony will die within one to three years if the beekeeper does not look after it. Once it has penetrated the beehive, the varroa mite multiplies in the brood cells where the queen has laid her eggs. Shortly before the worker bees cap the brood cells, the female varroa mites slip in and migrate to the floor of the cell. They use their mouth parts to suck a blood-like fluid from the bee larvae and then lay their eggs in the brood cell. The young varroa mites likewise feed on the bee larvae. By the time the bee hatches, it is weakened, often infected with viruses, and has a shortened lifespan. The varroa mite can also be carried by the bee into other beehives, for example if the bee gets lost or steals honey. To prevent this, the parasites have to be combated after the last honey harvest. For example, the beekeeper can suspend plastic strips between the brood cells. These strips are treated with a special active substance that sticks to the legs of the bees. In this way, they distribute it throughout the hive. When varroa mites come into contact with the active substance, they die and drop off. The beekeeper can see that the treatment was successful, and the bees are well prepared for the next winter.